In this thinkorswim tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to set up alerts, you know, whether it's alerts for news, whether it's for stocks, whether it's for what have you, a plethora of different ways you can set alerts. A lot of people might be familiar with the price alerts, but I'm going to go through all the different aspects of all the different alerts that I'm aware of through the thinkorswim platform, and we're going to get started here. Pretty straightforward. If you're not familiar, you simply right-click on the chart here. You click Create Alert. You can set the alert for your, you know, different kind of strategies that you might be utilizing. You can set it for a certain mark price if you want to set it at a certain specific price, like 328.48. Simply all preset there from wherever you clicked. Click it in. You got the alert. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Jump back in here. You could set it for at or above. You could set it at or below. You could set a lot of different indicators here, and you can readjust it however you want. Nothing too complicated about that. You could set up, you know, different alerts for different tickers, depending on which ticker you want to set it up for. You could set it up for more recently looked at. You could set up for your current positions. You could set it up for futures. You could set it up for options. You could set it up for indices. You could set it up for indicators. A lot of different ones there. So if uh, you wanted to set it up for different currencies, you could set it up for that. You could look up the specifics as well. And then you could set it up for your own little personal ones here, whether you want to set it up for a scanner that you had going on show you guys here and you can it pulls up all of the you know if you're scanning for your different filters or whatever it'll pop up the list here and you can set up quick alert just by utilizing it just that way show you the other way here as well and you can set it up by news and other things too and i'll go into the news aspects here next Pretty straightforward. Uh, it's like a little three dot uh, menu here. You click into, you click create alert on news. So if you want to set an alert on your news, whatever the latest might be coming in for a particular ticker, you do notify me of the next news item only. So if something new comes out for your particular ticker that you're following, like an upgrade or something like that, or just general breaking news that you might miss Potentially, if you're not following push notifications of another application, you can simply follow right here. You do a create, and then, you know, after that comes in, it, even for the price alerts, it'll set up essentially a notification thing that'll pop up both on Thinkorswim and on your mobile device if you have the app installed. And a pretty straightforward, you'll get the alerts, and that's that. You can set up alerts, you know, let's say you're scanning a ticker, what have you, so on and so forth. Uh, pretty straightforward. You simply would right click. You would simply right click on a said scanner area here. You know, there's the scanners that I utilize. Same thing, and you'd right click the ticker. Same kind of setup. You'd set when you'd want to, you know, watch it and get that alert for that particular ticker. Isn't a whole else lot to discuss about different, you know, alerts that you can set. But the short answer is that you can set alerts both for the price here, pretty straightforward. Once again, you right click. Uh, I personally like setting up alerts at, you know, key points here, like at the EMA and at WAP. You know, these are key support ranges oftentimes. You can set up alerts for a different Bollinger Band uh, strain points. Like with SPY here, you can see that it bounced off of its lower band on the hourly would have been a great entry point at that point. Just, you know, just different ways to utilize this. Even with Itchy Cloud here, you could have said, well, I want to set up an alert once it enters into that Itchy Cloud range. Based on this Itchy Cloud range, it actually looks like Spy is going to continue back up. But the point being is you could set up various alerts for di various different scenarios, and it's pretty straightforward. There's really nothing complicated about that. And that's about all you can utilize it for that. You can set up for options as well if you want uh, different uh, ranges, different contracts, a lot of different stuff. Pretty straightforward, but uh, I think that's about all I'm going to cover in this video. Just wanted to do a quick tutorial video in that regard, show you guys just different ways that you could set up 
uh, news alerts. And now keep in mind, these news alerts will essentially be for, uh, you know, make a little bit of noise to show up on Thinkorswim here on the desktop version. And it'll show up on the mobile version as well, because you'll get that little blinking alert and it'll say, hey, it hit your price point. If it never does, that alert never goes away until it hits that point. I believe, uh, let me double check on that. Yeah, it doesn't appear to allow you to set it on uh, what it hits when it hits a certain date, whether it'll just expire or something like that. But uh, the short answer is pretty straightforward. You set the alert. That's pretty much it. Let me see. Oh, it does have an expiration. My mistake. I don't really set the alerts beyond that uh, other than for day trading. Now, so you could actually set an alert specifically for a, speci a specified time if it hits that or a non-specified time. And then you could just get it to expire after a while. You could set it for, you know, create a silent alert or a regular alert or no alert, just that if you're actively watching Think or Swim, you'll, you know, you'll just see a trigger and that's pretty straightforward. And then uh, different reminders, you know, remind me X number of days ahead of time of this alert's expiration, one, two, three, four, five, seven, so on. And then uh, basically, so you could set it at a certain point to follow it and then so if you wanted to do a nine to five and you're doing day trading and if it never reaches your price point, it will never alert you. So you never really have to watch that ticker. Pretty nice feature. I was sort of aware of that. I didn't know the extent of how well it went in. Obviously, you could zoom in closer and closer and closer. You can zoom out, 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 out. You can set alerts for whatever purpose at whatever time frame that you'd want. And you can capitalize on those particular ranges if you guys would like to see any other videos in regards to different alerts about Thinkorswim or if you want a different guide and or tutorial, or what have you, so on and so forth, I can cover different ranges of different things through the Thinkorswim platform. And, you know, whether it's about charting or something else, I have some other videos on the channel, so make sure to check them out. I have a full video tutorial coming up here. Maybe when you're watching this video, maybe not. I don't know when that'll be out, but we'll see how that progresses into the future. Thanks for listening in, guys, and you have a wonderful day.